Good morning, scholars. Miss Coyle here. I wanted to start today a little bit differently. It's going to require us to think way back to our very first read aloud video together over Vista Virtual Online. Remember that book? It taught us the process to do something. It taught us the steps to grow the ingredients needed for vegetable soup. Do you remember that book? Give me a thumbs up if you remember that story. It taught us how to grow the vegetables, how to clean them, how to cook them, and how to make our own vegetable soup. Do you remember that story that we read together? Well, if you don't, you can always go back and watch that video, but it motivated me, Miss Coyle, to grow vegetables of my own. And guess what? Well, yesterday when I went to go water the different herbs that I was growing in my garden, I found a friend. I found a friend. There was a ladybug friend in my garden. So I wanted to share him with you guys. Here he is now. Just hanging out, having a new home in my garden. And I thought it'd be fun to share him with you because I started growing that garden because of the book that we read. It's so fun reading new books and getting inspired to do new things or even just listening to a story, a fiction story that's just fun to read and fun to hear different make-believe stories that we can also kind of connect to our lives and think of things that we experience. So I took that book, I went ahead and grew some vegetables and some herbs, and now I need your help. I want to give our friend a name. If you have a name for our new friend, um, the ladybug in my garden, I would love for you to share it with your teachers. Send me those ideas, and I will announce next week what our new ladybug friend's name is. So, today is Thursday. Today is... Yes, today is Thursday, April 23rd. We are almost to Friday. This week has been super special because we've gotten to read a chapter book together. Is that an excitement? Yes, we have gotten to read a chapter book together. Yesterday we read chapters one and two. Do you remember what those chapters were about? Let's put our fingers to our brain and let's think about it for a little bit. Huh, I know the title was Junie B. Jones is Captain Field Day. Title of chapter one was Chatting. Yeah, in chapter one, she called her friend Grace, and she was telling her all about how field day is coming up and how important it was that Grace was there. Okay, I remember that too. What happened in chapter two? What happened in chapter two? I know in chapter one, Junie B. Jones was feeling really excited. You got it. She was so, so excited. Okay, and in chapter two, what was the title? Hmm. Let's see. What was the title of chapter two? Oh, right. It was Captain. What happened in the second chapter of Junie B. Jones' Captain's Field Day? Yeah, Junie B. Jones, she was the one to pull out the, the paper that said Captain from the basket, and she found out that she is captain of the field team for her classroom. So we know that she's captain now, and how do we say she's feeling at the end of that, at the end of that chapter? Yeah, she's feeling so happy. She got what she wanted. She wanted to be captain of field day, and she got what she wanted. She achieved her motivation. Nice job keeping track of the chapters that we've already read. Remember that chapter books are a little bit different from the other fiction stories that we've been reading. In chapter books, we have one book that's made up with multiple chapters. There's so many different chapters that all are a different part of the same story. We know that the story we've been reading is Junie B. Jones' Captain Field Day. We read chapter one and chapter two. Today, we are going to continue to do what good readers do, paying really close attention as we read the new chapters in our story today, chapters three and four. But remember that in the chapter books, there's not as many pictures as there are in the other fiction stories that we're used to reading. So that requires us to do some really tough things as a good reader. We're going to make sure that we're listening really carefully while we read the story. We can still always go back and reread if there's something that we're not sure we're really understanding. But we always make sure we're listening to the words as we're reading so we can make our own pictures in our brains. So maybe there's not a lot of pictures on the pages, but I know we can use our imagination in our brains. And as we're reading, we can visualize what's happening in the story. Like I could totally picture Junie B. Jones putting her hand in. We said her stomach was feeling so nervous. It basically sank. Her heart was pounding so, so fast. I could envision all of that in my head and see her actually picking out the paper that said captain and saying, hooray, hooray. I can visualize that all in my brain. So today, continue to make those visualizations that you're making, those visuals inside your brain, those pictures of what's happening in the story. Continue to do that because you're doing a great job. 
As we do that, we are going to continue to still chart the important events, actions, and feelings that we are catching while we read the next few chapters. This chart is going to help keep us on track because remember, each chapter is a different part of the same story. So we gotta make sure, oh yeah, that's what happens today in chapter two and three. We're gonna make sure we're keeping track of the different parts of the same story. So let's go ahead and get started by reviewing our words. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure? Say we're ready. What is fiction? Think about it, think about it. What is fiction? Fiction is get ready, go. Fiction is make believe stories. Again, go. Fiction is make believe stories. You got it. So smart. Because your brain say, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Good job. A chapter is get ready, go. A chapter is a different part of the same story. Let's do that one again. A chapter is get ready, go. A chapter is a different part of the same story. Remember, I say different like this. Part of the same, we clap our hands, story, storybook hands. A chapter is, okay, one more time. Good job. One more time, must mentor, get ready, go. Huh. I wonder who's going to do it the best. Is it going to be the boys or the girls? I don't know. I'm team girl over here. I don't know. A chapter is, get ready, go. A chapter is a different part of the same story. Remember, our chapters have different titles. Just like our book has one big title, our chapters have their own titles on the inside. Remember yesterday we said we read chatting, chapter number one was chatting, chapter number two, captain. Today we're going to read the titles, capes and lightning is the title of chapter three, and new Thelma is the title of chapter four. So remember, a title, your turn. Again, yeah, a title, your turn. Good, yes, a title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. The title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. One more time, the title, get ready, go. The title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. You got it, and these are new for you guys. You guys are already crushing it, what? Send these videos to your teachers. Show them all the hard work that you're doing. You're crushing it. And two more, character mental state, get ready, go. Character mental state is what the character's thinking and feeling. Good. Character mental state is what the character's thinking and feeling. And character actions. I wonder who could be the loudest and proudest on this one. Character actions are, get ready, go. Character actions are what the character does. Again, go. Character actions are what the character does. You got it. Nice job. High five. Ready? No, we could do it better. One more time. High five. Get ready. Good job. Oh, I cannot wait to see who is following along. And reading the words with me as we read our book today, because you don't need my help. You don't need Miss Coyle's help. Say, no way. Yeah, you don't need my help. You're awesome readers all on your own. Chapter three, capes and lightning. Hmm. Mrs. hurried over to me. She said to please stop dancing. Yeah, only I can't even control my feet that good, because they're excited about Captain, about being Captain Field Day, I said. I jumped up and down. I've always wanted to be the boss of these people, and now I am the captain of everybody. Captain means the same thing as boss, right, Mrs., right? Just then, my whole mouth fell open, because I thought of something very wonderful. Mrs., hey, Mrs., guess what else captain can be? It can be the name of a superhero, I think. I clapped my hands. Yes, yes, I heard of that before. I heard of a superhero named Captain Somebody or Other. And so that makes this job even better, I said. I hugged myself real happy. Maybe I can even wear a whole entire superhero outfit, like a leotard and tights, and a cape, and a belt with lightning. Just then, Mrs. held her hand in the air. Whoa, 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 she said. Then she quick took me into the hall and she bent down next to me. Junie B, you are very mixed up about being a team captain. Team captains are not superheroes. They're not even close, in fact. Scholars, why does Junie B think she's the boss of everyone? Why does she think that she gets to be the boss of everybody? Why does she think that? Why does she think she gets to be the boss of everybody? Why does she think that? Hmm. Yeah, I think she thinks she gets to be the boss because she's captain. 
So she thinks that captain, because they're the leader, they get to boss everybody around. Is she really the boss of everybody else? Yeah, say no way. She is not the boss of everybody else. She's the captain. But being a captain and being the boss and bossing people around is not the same thing. So what is Junie's motivation to wear a leotard and tights? Why does she want to wear a leotard and tights? And I noticed she even said a cape. Remember the title of this chapter was Capes and Lightning? And the title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. I wonder if she's going to end up wearing a cape. Why or what is her motivation to wear those things? I know character motivation is what the character wants or needs. Why does she want to wear those things? Yeah, she wants to be a superhero. Good job. Why aren't they? I asked. Captains are the bosses, right? Mrs. shook her head. No, Junie B. Not in this case, they aren't. In this case, a team captain supports the team. A team captain keeps the team united. She looked at me. You know what united means, don't you? You've heard of that word before, right? I thought and thought, thought very hard, but I couldn't actually remember it. Mrs. explained it to me. Unite means to join people together, Junie B. She said, a team captain keeps her teammates working together in good spirits. Instead of bossing them around, she cheers them on. Do you think you can do that? I did a little frown, because this was not the job I expected, that's why. Finally, I shrugged my shoulders. I guess I can do it, I said kind of quiet, but I still wish I could have a cape. I looked at her real serious. I wish that really, really bad, Mrs., I said. Mrs. stood up. Well, I suppose if we looked around the room, we could find a towel to pin on your shoulders. How would that be? She asked. My eyes got big and wide at her. Then I jumped way high in the air. Perfect! A towel will be perfect, Mrs., I said, because then I will look like the real, actual Captain Field Day. Plus, also... I can dry my hands occasionally. After that, I run straight to the sink in the back of room nine. And guess what? Mrs. found a towel in the cabinet and it was a red one. She pinned it on my shoulders. I zoomed all around the room. Scholars, I want to pause there. How did Junie B. Jones end up dressing up as a superhero? How did she end up dressing up as a superhero? Let's look back in the text. What is she going to wear that is kind of like what a superhero wears? Mm-hmm. Yeah, on page number 19, did you find that text evidence? Find the word perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it says perfect. A towel will be perfect, Mrs. I said, because then I will look like the real, actual Captain Field Day. And I remember earlier in the text on page 19 still where it says, well, I suppose if we looked around the room, we could find a towel to pin on your shoulders. That tells me they're putting the towel on her shoulders just like it'd be a superhero cape. Let's pause there and let's actually try to look like how Junie B. Jones looks with this towel around her shoulders. I want you to ask for your parents' permission to maybe put a towel on as a cape. If you don't have a towel that you can use, I am going to use a blanket. So we'll take our blanket or our towels, we're gonna put them around our shoulder and pretend like we are Captain Field Day, just like Danny B. Jones. Okay, scholars, I have my pretend cape on as well. So let's keep reading. It says, she pinned it on my shoulders. I zoomed all around the room. Look at me, Mrs., look at me. I am fast as lightning in this thing. Finally, Mrs. grabbed my hand and she walked me over to the door. Boys and girls, it's time to get things started, she said. Let's all form a line behind our team captain. Who is the team captain again, scholars? Yeah, Junie B. Jones. Good job. I spinned around and looked at them. That's me, people. I am your captain. I am the one with the red cape. The cape will remind you that I am Captain Field Day. Just then, room nine groaned and groaned. Only, I don't actually know why. After that, they lined up behind me and all of us marched outside to the playground. Then we waited real excited for room eight to come out because field day was ready to begin. So as yesterday, I left you with a question because 
Remember when Juni B. Jones was picked as captain, when she pulled her paper out, she was feeling so very happy. But the rest of the class, they didn't clap with her. And we were talking about how the other class might be feeling. Well, luckily, a scholar shared their feeling with me, but I want us to look back at the feelings that we have been tracking on our charts. I may have added a feeling. Can you find it? How is the rest of the class feeling about Junie B. Jones being captain of field day? You might be thinking about the other scholars' actions, some things that they're saying. I remember in the text on this page, on page 21, it said they groaned like, oh. Yeah. I think they're feeling a little bit disappointed, a little bit frustrated, maybe a little bit sad. I agree with all of those feeling scholars because they didn't want Junie B to be their captain, right? They wanted to be captain. They're a little bit maybe jealous. That word was shared with me from another scholar, which I'm so excited about because I think that fits perfectly. They're a little bit jealous. Remember all the other scholars who were yelling and shouting and saying, Mrs. Pick me, pick me, I should be captain. And then they didn't get picked. I think maybe they're feeling a little bit disappointed that it wasn't them and a little bit jealous that Junie B gets to be the captain of the field day. Nice job working that out with me. So smart scholars. The event is Junie is captain. She's captain. We found out in the previous chapter and this chapter was all about her and her understanding of what it means to be a captain. What does it mean to be a captain? What does a captain do? What does a captain do? Yeah, let's look back in the text. Good idea back in the text and use the exact words from the text that they used when Mrs. explained it to her, but it says unite means to join people together. A, a team captain keeps her teammates working together in good spirits. So they're feeling happy and they're feeling like they can get things accomplished as a team. A captain does not boss people around. Nobody likes to be bossed around. Do you like to be bossed around? No way. Me either. So the big event is Junie is captain. Let's put that on our chart. Good work, scholars. So Junie is captain. So what's the big action? Character actions, get ready. Go. Character actions are what the character does. Good job. What was the big action that Junie B did in this chapter? Yeah, she dresses up like a superhero. Good work. Yeah, she dresses up as a superhero. Nice job. And then lastly, scholars, how is Junie B. Jones feeling in this text, in this part of our story, this chapter? Capes and lightning. How is she feeling? Let's look back at our feelings chart and I'm going to give you some time to think about it. Yeah, I think there's two feelings too that really stick out to me. I think that she's still so excited, even more so excited because now she gets to wear her special cape to be captain during the field day. But I think she's also feeling a little confused because if you look back on page 21, when it said that the room nine scholars were groaning and groaning and she's not sure why, she doesn't understand why the class isn't clapping with her or isn't excited with her when she says, people, I am your captain. I'm the one with the red cape. The cape will remind you that I am Captain Field Day. Yeah, it sounds like she's a little confused why the other scholars are not supporting her when she feels so excited to be captain. So let's add that to our chart. Awesome job keeping track of chapter number three. Let's dive right into chapter four. Can you find the title of chapter four? Can you find the title of chapter four? I know the title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. What is the title of chapter four? Yeah, the title is New Thelma. Good job. Can you find the word I? Where do we start reading on this page? Where do we start reading on this page? Where do we start reading on this page? Yeah, good job. I know two people in room eight. First, I know a boy named Handsome Warren. He was a new kid at school. I used to love him, only now I don't even see him, hardly. So he is just regular Warren, and that's all. I know another kid in room eight, too. Her name is New Thelma. 
The first day she came to our school, my boyfriend named Ricardo chased her all over the playground. I hollered and hollered for him to stop, but he said chasing new Thelma was fun. And so that is how come he dumped me. Dumped is the grown up word for when you have to find a new Ricardo. Just then, the school door opened and room eight came running out to the playground. The room eight teacher was at the front of her line. She was holding someone's hand. I did a gasp. Because guess what? It was New Thelma. New Thelma was the captain of room eight, I think. Mrs. smiled at me. Okay, Junie B, here's what happens next. As soon as they get out here, you and the team captain of room eight shake hands. And then field day can begin. Scholars, how do you think Junie B's mental state is when Ricardo was chasing New Thelma? How do you think she felt about Ricardo chasing new Thelma? Look back at our resource, our feelings resource. What feeling fits? Was she feeling excited that Ricardo was chasing new Thelma? What do you think of that? Does that make sense? Was she feeling excited about it? Like, yeah, go Ricardo, chase her. No way. We know our text evidence on page 23 said she hollered and hollered for him to stop. She didn't want him to chase her. She didn't want him chasing new Thelma. Okay, so if she doesn't want him doing it, I think it's a negative feeling. Let's look at our negative feelings. Yeah, she's feeling jealous. She did not like that. I felt kind of sickish inside. Yeah, only here's the problem. I said, I don't actually like that girl. And so I will just shake hands with the room eight teacher instead. No, Junie B, said Mrs. That's not how it's done. Team captains shake hands with each other. It's the way teams show good sportsmanship. After that, Mrs. marched me right over to New Thelma and waited and wait till you hear this. That pushy girl grabbed my hand without even asking. Hey, I know you, she said real giggly. I've seen you on the playground before. You're a friend of Ricardo's. After that, she shaked my hand very hard. I did not shake back. Mrs. leaned next to my ear. Her voice did not sound happy. So I was, why does Mrs., the teacher, why does her voice not sound very happy? Why does her voice not sound very happy? Yeah, Junie B. Jones didn't do what she was supposed to do to show sportsmanship. She didn't shake Thelma's hand. Mm. Wish her team good luck, Junie B., she whispered. Now. I did a huffy breath. Okay, fine. Good luck, Thelma, I grouched. New Thelma said, good luck, back to me. Then she tried to shake my hand some more, but I quick pulled it away. Don't touch the merchandise, I said. After that, Mrs. took my arm and we went back to my team. And guess what? Just then, I heard my grandpa Miller call my name. I looked up. He and my grandma were coming across the playground with mother and daddy. I run to them speedy fast. Look, people, look, look. I am Captain Field Day. See my cape? I am captain of this whole entire production. Grandpa Miller smiled real proud. Then he picked me up in the air, and he flew me around and around, just like a real superhero. So, guys, remember we're making these visuals inside our brains? I'm going to reread that paragraph one more time, because I just envisioned a very cool picture by reading this text. Can you visualize it in your brain, too? Grandpa Miller smiled real proud. Can you see his big smile? Then he picked me up in the air and he flew me around and around, just like a real superhero. Pretty soon, I heard Mrs. blow her whistle. Then Grandpa Miller put me down and I hurried back to my team because it was Captain Field Day to the rescue. In chapter four, we met some new characters and we got some more information on them. We found out that Junie B had a boyfriend. Ooh. She had a boyfriend named Ricardo and he dumped her for new Thelma. That's a pretty big event, so we're gonna add it to our chart. Okay, we said Junie's boyfriend dumps her for Thelma. Okay, what's the big action that Junie has with Thelma? We know that she's not a big fan of Thelma's. She was really jealous that her boyfriend was chasing Thelma all over the playground. But what do we know about Thelma in this chapter, scholars? Yeah, she's the captain for the other classroom. Did Junie B. Jones what she was supposed to do what she was supposed to do to show sportsmanship? No, she wouldn't shake her hand. So that is the big action. 
Sometimes an action is something that you didn't do. Either you did it or you didn't do it. But regardless, it was an action that you chose. So she chose to not shake Thelma's hand. Okay, so we said that she didn't or doesn't shake Thelma's hand. But Thelma shakes her hand, and they say good luck to each other, even though Junie B. Jones' voice is really grouchy and she doesn't want to do it. How is she feeling about Thelma? Let's look back at our feelings chart. We've been doing such an amazing job keeping track of these different feeling words. Hmm. Yeah, she's feeling so jealous. She really didn't like that her ex-boyfriend, Ricardo, was chasing Thelma all over the playground. She was really jealous about that. So I went ahead and added jealous to our feelings. So as today we read chapters three and four of our chapter book. We have learned so much more information about the field day that's coming up and tomorrow we finally get to go into the first event of field day. We got to put our capes on today and put ourselves as if we were Junie B, the character in our story. Wonderful job really listening to the words that we read today and trying to make those visualizations, those mental pictures in your brain so that you can better understand what's happening during a chapter book. To end today, we are just going to review our words. So the first word I want to go over is fiction. Fiction is get ready, go. Again, go. Good job. A chapter is get ready, go. Did you get that one right? I'm sure you did. A chapter is get ready, go. Good. A title, get ready, go. Good. A title tells a little bit about what the chapter is about. Nice work. We're going to end with two more. Character mental state, get ready, go. You got it. And our last one, character actions, get ready, go. Good job. I can basically hear your loud and proud voices over the vocabulary where I'll, while I mouth the definitions. Fabulous job today, and I will see you tomorrow for one more chapter of our chapter book. Bye, Vista Voyagers. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Thursday.